I always say that you should totally be thankful when you get a chance like me to play in a giant band like Evanescence. That's not the norm. And I'm very, very aware of that. And I'm grateful and thankful for that every single day. Because a lot of people get a big head when they reach like a certain level in their career. And I will never, I will never, because I always know where I come from. And that's so important, you know? Oh, keep that in, that was amazing. <laughs> Some people are <not>, what? <laughs> Some people do not know who I am, what? <laughs> I'm Gemma Jura, and I'm the guitar player of the band Evanescence. I grew up with music, and I think my dad always wanted me to become a piano player. He always wanted me to play Moonlight Sonata, but I was like, no, I want to rock. And I picked up the electric guitar at the age of six. And it was just, I never wanted to do anything else. Honestly, it's like guitar is the best instrument in the entire world. I remember back in the days in, in summer 2015, I was playing with another band and the band Testament was booked on the same festivals like us back in the days. And I've always been a great admirer of Alex Golny. So of course we talked and can we do this with the voice? Hang on. Jen, there are friends of mine going to contact you and I can't reveal any details, but it's something you should say yes to. A couple days later, the management sent me an email and they went like, we kindly would ask you if you could, if you would be interested in joining the band. And I said, yes. <laughs> and that was the day when my life changed, yeah. I was brought up with a very, very dry sound. When I started playing, I don't have, I didn't use any delays or reverbs or pedals at all, mainly because I truly believe the sound comes out of your fingers first. Then the first rehearsal with Evanescence took place and I remember like after every single song, somebody walked up to me and said, oh, you need this effect, oh, you need that effect. It was like a battery of pedals at the end of the rehearsal. Well, Line 6 provided the helix, um, which made my life so much easier. So, and so much happier. <laughs> Evanescence uses so many different tunings that for the first chunk of shows that we play, I had to take 11 guitars with me on the road. You know, a guitar change after every song, and I said, there's gotta be a solution for this that makes my life easier. Well, the simple pitch, um, literally takes the tuning of your guitar and you can lower it, I'd say up, down to like two and a half steps without any problems in the sound. I don't have to worry about so many different guitar tunings. And it's so much easier to know your three main guitars instead of 11 different guitars. So I just love that. It definitely made my perception of sound possibilities wider. Okay. And you need to have this constant, reliable sound that sounds the same at home, but with the opportunity to adjust for the actual venue. And that's given with all the Helix products. That's why I love them so much. You're just flexible, but you have a constant, safe sound. In a studio, you use different amps and try out stuff. And I believe there was one song, I can't remember which one, but we just used the Helix because the sound for that one specific song was just from the Helix sounded better than using a tube amp. <laughs> well, I heard that 
for the testing phase in the beginning, they took the helix, went up like five storages in the house and threw it out just to prove that it's unbreakable. And for me personally, I never had any problems at all with this pedal board. You have to spend time with your instrument and give it time and be patient with yourself and never stop working and believing. And always smile and carry sunshine in your heart.